We'll have the boxing with Frank Warren in Queensbury, joined by our newfound knockout artist, Aaron Emery. How are you? Mate? All good, thank you. How are you? All right? Yeah, not bad. Now, I know you all say it about getting the rounds in and not bothered about the knockouts, but you looked awfully pleased after that knockout from your yeah. last fight. I, was, I think it was a bit just like shutting the doubters, you know what I mean? Saying, oh, you can't punch this, that, and just, just done it basically just to shut them up, you know what I mean? But uh, it was nice to have an early night, I can't complain, you know what I mean? Even though you deny it, it did mean something, didn't it? No, well, of course it means something. It's one of, with my first knockout on my record, ain't it? So mm -hmm. obviously it means something, but at the end of the day, I don't mind doing the rounds. That's the kind of fighter I am. And I'm only going to improve that way by doing the rounds. There was a little spring in your step when you put him down as well, wasn't there? Yeah, once I put him down, I, I made sure he was getting out of there. What's that feeling like when somebody, you hit them and they sink in front of you? What's it? Must be an adrenaline I think rush. I think it's an adrenaline rush, your stamina goes through the roof. You feel like you can just keep, keep going until so you get him out of there, you know? Well, how did I do that? Yeah. I think even if you was in the late rounds and you'd done it, I think your stamina would just go through the roof and you just go for it, you know what I mean? Was it a nice relaxed punch? I just, yeah, literally. I, I just literally threw him back and caught him flush on the chin. I looked at him and then he just stepped back and then went to a knee and I thought, must have, I was catching him clean with the backhand all night long. So it was only a matter of time before I was catching him and it went, he went down with it. So. Do you reckon if you try and put something into your punches it doesn't work, does it? No, it wasn't even, yeah, to be honest, I didn't even try with it. I was hitting him up the body all night and then I found the head. Did you have an idea beforehand that this might be the one? Not, not, not in touch, he said he was tough, so I just went in there and done what I usually do. Worked the body early on, which obviously he, he, he thought I was going to keep going to the body in, and that's when I just started hitting with clean backhands, so yeah. When you were going around seeing all your people after the fight, thanking them and all that, did you just have that extra little sort of strut about you, swinging nah, your shoulders? No, nah, nah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not that kind of person, but no, I was happy, I was really happy. By the way, we were talking about a fella called Ivan Njak, who you done in the third round, out of six. You know, it's your fourth straight sixth round, isn't it? Fourth, yeah, straight six rounds, yeah. Hopefully I'll be moving up now to eight. Hopefully maybe even get like a junior title or something, get something soon. Do you think you want to move on to something sort of more meaningful now? Yeah, definitely. I would like to get go up through the rankings now and hopefully get my first title before long. So yeah, yeah, start stepping up now. Do you think the old stabilizers are coming off now? Sort of yeah, stabilizers are starting to come off and we're going to let go. <laughs> so you're next out on um, July 2nd at Wembley. Um, good card. Yeah, really uh, good card. Yeah. Um, I was going to ask you about something. Your ex ex gym mate, yeah. um, and now well, you're not you're not in the gym with it anymore, but your promotion is the same. Um, Ethan James is fighting Connor Parker. Yeah, I hear that. He's Telford. boxing for the English Eliminator. I yeah, think. Or I think it's on the um, 11th. Yeah. 11th of this month now. What do you reckon to that fight? I mean, obviously you and Ethan are the same weight. I can't comment. I can't say nothing. I think Ethan's doing well. He's on his own path. I'm on my own path. Like, let him do what he's going to do. Win what it, title he's going to win, and I'll win whatever titles I'm going to win. And maybe one down, day down the line, it'll be a big fight and be a good fight. Are you surprised that he's moving himself along a little bit quicker now? Sort of, because you always thought he'd be more of a slow burner, didn't you? Sort of? Yeah, well, I suppose he's got he's got new trainers. Obviously, they might have new ideas, different ideas to L and how quick they want to move him, and how quick he wants to move himself. He might be pushing them to move him quicker. I just put my trust in the L and the team, and I let them move him at the pace they want to move me. Because they put him in with like a rough and ready fighter last time. Yeah, ben, ben Phil's a good, to tough, durable opponent. Yeah, just because he always comes forward, doesn't he? Yeah, he'll very good. Probably tough see opponent. if he could handle it. Yeah. And then now he's having a. He come through that test and yeah, yeah a little yeah. title fight. And yeah. Sort of and I suppose if you look at the the English champion, Billy Allenson, that'd be something for you both to probably look at somewhere in this yeah, year. Def yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I think me and Ethan probably do want to go the British route, so we might end up meeting for a British title one day. Who knows? But. Would you like yeah. to fight him? Yeah, I ain't got nothing to do with his business at the end of the day. We've, we've both got on as good mates. We're both in the European yeah. Championships together, both in the European Finals together. So we've, we've, we've been quite close as amateurs. We was on the G, like GB setup together. So yeah, I have nothing against him. I don't think he's got nothing against me, but as a pro, it's business at the end of the day, ain't it? You're both very skillful type fighters, aren't you? I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm not quite trying to imagine the fight in my head. Game of chess. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure it'd be like a war, would it? I'm not sure. We don't know, do you? Yeah, it might surprise. Depends what his game plan is, and depends what mine is. <laughs> yeah. 
he planted his feet a couple of times recently and he sort of yeah. had a little go but um, you've got your stoppage now haven't you <laughs> yeah thank god yeah it's done out of the way people can stop talking about it now do you think he'll beat parker yeah i think he'll beat parker personally i think i think ethan again's another gifted fighter a talented kid same as myself i'm talented we've got loads of talent coming through but yeah i think he beats parker now then, tell us that you've been doing a little bit of work on the side recently. I'll tell me you've been run, running the show on Bognor Regis Pier. Tell us about that. Yeah, I'm working with the girlfriend's family a little bit, just helping them out down there, doing a bit of an ice cream shop, serving a bit of coffee. I'm like their barista. <laughs> I like my coffee, shop. so I, I'm good at serving it. Is that one of those soft whip machines where you pull it like yeah, pulling a pint? Yeah, 99 whip it, yeah. I've always wanted to do that. I can't do it personally myself. You have to well, as soon spin, as they ask for the whippy, the I just, yeah, as soon as they ask for the whippy, I call Atlanta and tell her to do it. I'll be eating a few of them while yeah. you're there. I have to keep myself away from them. So what do you do? Drive down there in the morning and just spend the day Yeah, on normally the sometimes at, uh, every old weekend I might go down there and see them. And obviously they've got the business going, especially when the kids are off of school. And it's busy down there. Help them out. You make a nice coffee then? Yeah, I don't make a bad coffee, yeah. That's why they get me doing it. She, she can't make the coffee, so she sticks me on the coffee and she does the ice cream. So it, it keeps me away from the ice cream as well. Is it quite full on though, sort of serving behind the counter all day? Sort of, yeah, it's not too, like, it depends what kind of day it is. If it's busy on a due, like say Jubilee weekend coming up, you might be going flat out all day long. <laughs> and if it's like uh, normal every day, you'll just be slow and steady. It's, all so you've depends gone from on the disco waltzers to the coffee shop. Yeah, I've done it all. Sounds like God it. knows what my CV would look like. That'd be interesting, aren't <laughs> Yeah. And what about the scrap metal? Are you doing that the recycling? Yeah, still doing a bit of that, yeah. Still helping Susie out now and again, yeah. But mostly now your focus is on just yeah, training I'm, To be honest, yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to put as much focus as I am into boxing. Like you said, I'm stepping up now. My next fight will be an eight-rounder. And you just want to put more and more time into it. Because you, you do need to put more and more time into it. You need to you need your rest after training. You can't be going flat out working the next day. You know what I mean? You need your rest before the next session. So yeah, I'm trying to put as much focus into it as Are possible. Are you noticing a difference though in yourself and your, the way you feel and you know how tired you are and things like that? Yeah, definitely. Like when I was coming, I was when I was working full time and I was coming to be inspiring in the evenings. I was a lot more tired. Like you think, get up and then you think, oh, I've got to spar now. Like you're tired. But as soon as you like you've been having that rest, not working as much, you feel more revitalised. But don't forget back then you had a day in the yard, then about an hour and a half journey, journey yeah. in the car, then training, then a journey back. Yeah. That weren't really healthy. And then you was, was getting up and doing the same thing every day, yeah. Amazing, you stuck with it to be fair, isn't it? Yeah, I've done it for quite a long time, even when, as an amateur when I was driving to the gym from boxing from there, so. Repton, yeah. Yeah, I've done Repton, Hoddesdon, I've never had trained at a close gym really. Wow. Right H, we're gonna see you. On July 2nd. July the 2nd, yeah. Wembley Arena. Respect to the site and performance. <laughs> and, uh, we'll keep these knockouts coming. Hopefully, yeah. See Thank you later, mate.